Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to uh, show off a little at-home project, little DIY thing. Uh, if you got some extra speakers around like I did. Uh, here I just basically, the other day I built a box for these. You can see the woodworking isn't all that good. The wood was, was cheap. Speakers are pretty cheap, that's why they're laying around. But I built a box, just took a, uh, a skill saw to it, angle grinded the corners down so it fit. Uh, you know, some cheap Kenwoods, I think they were probably 30 bucks for both of them. Rated at 30 watts RMS. Uh, I might replace it with some better ones later. As you can see, after I cut all the sides off, uh, I built this box really quickly. I just took a, a jigsaw to the corners here. You know, eyeballed it. It's not perfect, but the speakers fit just fine. And then I have a, uh, I definitely got some overhead power. Um, this Pile Hydra amplifier is rated at 400 watts uh, for two channels. So 100 each channel at 4 ohm is what it says. I doubt it produces rated power, but if it even produces half of what it's rated at, you know, it's good for what I need it for. Um, and I'll just, you know, kind of show off the wiring after I get all the components here and uh, show you guys how to, I guess, make your own at-home stereo system if you got some extra things laying around. So I finally got around here to uh, finishing up the wiring on the box. And I figured I'd just go over a, a couple of things here. Looks pretty good. I mean, I put it together pretty quickly. Um, and because it's, I guess it's kind of a how-to, I'll go over what I did here. So <clears throat> I got a uh, transformer here to take the power from the wall. So I got, you know, 110 volts of AC current running in there. Uh, 12 volts DC is the output. So what I did is uh, I installed the Bluetooth receiver. So I wanted to be able to charge that. And what I did is I got a DC-DC converter. So uh, five amps basically to charge up my Bluetooth receiver there. And then the other part I have here, uh, it's just the input to my amplifier. So I got remote, fuse, and the negative cable going inside. And then uh, the rest of the wiring is just uh, some pretty simple hookups to the speaker. So I'll play it real quick here. 10 bands works. Ten bands, fifty bands, hundred bands, fuck it, man. Let's just not even discuss it, man. OMG, nigga sleep. I ain't tripping, I'ma let him sleep. I ain't tripping, let him rest in peace. I can tell you how it happened. I can tell you about the safe house nights out in Calabasas. I can tell you how to rap. Now, the other thing you can do actually is uh, you don't even need one of the Bluetooth receivers if you want to hook it up. Uh, the receiver I got here, this is a waterproof case they gave because it's a marine amplifier um, all you got to do is you take the uh, connections where I got the Bluetooth just switch them out and uh, do that here and uh, it sounds just as good so then you just take this jack plug it in the headphone